8,500 workers at the power utility Con Edison remain locked out. Con Ed locked out the workers July 1st amidst contract negotiations and filled their jobs with uncontracted workers brought in from out of state. The biggest point of contention remains the savings retirement plan. Con Ed wants new hires to use a savings plan that would work more like a 401k. The union has said that would create a two-tiered system among workers and called the idea divisive. The power company calls the existing pension plan a financial burden, but union spokespeople point out that Con Ed continues to make record profits. Last year, the company's profits came to $1 billion. Its board of directors received a 20% increase in pay and stock options, while CEO Kevin Burke was paid almost $11 million. Since the hiring of scab labor, at least three injuries have occurred on the job, including one man whose face was burned. The union says Con Ed has put people in danger by using workers who lack the requisite skills. Speaking to Reuters, union spokesman John Malia said, quote, if something goes wrong, Con Edison will not be able to respond in a timely manner, endangering all New Yorkers." End quote. Hundreds of workers and supporters have been picketing Con Ed headquarters in Manhattan and offices around the city. On Tuesday, July 10th, we joined Local 1-2 on the picket line in front of the Con Ed office at 30 Flatbush Avenue to hear what they had to say. Con Edison is destroying us, it's trying to take away our, our benefits, our, our pension, our medical, our sick time. Con Ed is engaging in criminal behavior. They're bringing scabs in from out of town. That's a provocative measure in the extreme. When you take bread out of people's mouths, when you deny children health care, when you take away chemotherapy, and you bring in scabs, that's a recipe for danger. What I brought with me is a statement that came from workers in Egypt. 1.4 million of them organized the Egyptian Federation Independent Trade Unions. They read about, in the pages of Socialist Worker, um, about the lockout of Con Ed workers, and they sent a solidarity statement from Egypt to stand with workers here, which I just think is brilliant. It's the essence of solidarity, international solidarity. The scabs are from Virginia and Alabama. That's where they come in from. They're non-union. They don't care about union people. But we're going to let them know they're in New York. This is our territory. This is where we work. This is where we live. Go back to Virginia and go back to Alabama. That's where they belong. And this is the company that you know and trust. Remember one thing. They're convicted felons. And they'll never remove that from their record. Well, we're not on strike. There's a difference between a strike and a lockout. The company decided to lock us out at the end of our contract. We did not go on the strike. We were willing to continue working. They're all looking at us, what's going on in New York. So what happened in Wisconsin is not going to happen in New York.